This is the reason all you motherfuckers are here. You know what I'm saying? Big Chris son. Let me give y'all some stats on this nigga right now. Tell y'all right now. This is Riverview Gardens High School. All-time leader in concussions. Okay? This is Riverview Gardens High School. All-time leader in interceptions thrown. This is Riverview Gardens. All-time leader in fumbles. This nigga had a great mediocre career. And what's crazy is his daddy so celebrate all that shit. I done been over his house, this nigga got all kind of seven plate medals and shit. Daddy proud as a motherfucker. And his regular ass son. Hey. <laughs> but the nigga tell jokes hella good though. Hey, y'all give it up for my motherfucking nigga right now, man. Hey, y'all gotta make some noise, man. Y'all gotta really bring that. Hey, the reason y'all seen all these comedians. Hey, this nigga work hard, man. He's one of the hardest work comedians I know, man. Y'all give it up for my motherfucking nigga, man. Silly man! Keep clapping. Yeah. Hey, mama. All right, so look, I'm gonna 
said, he taught me when it came to music, he was like, you can use music to replace the words that you can't come up with when it's time to talk to women, which made sense in my generation. I graduated high school in 2006, so we had a lot of dope ass music. If I, if, if, who was this taking pictures of me? You look sensible. Yeah. Um, but if I liked you, and I wanted to have sex with you, but I didn't want you to feel pressured for it. There was a song for that shit. I just play that song, right? Like, you like, like, no, 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 y'all might be on this shit, but it, I did that song and went like, I'm not trying to pressure you. Just can't stop that emotion. You ain't even really gotta be my girlfriend. I just wanna know. Oh, no, I'm talking about that song too? Okay, I thought that was the only one. I don't know about this shit. That's the perfect hook me, but let's not be together. But let's be cool. <laughs> but that ain't no songs like that no more. I mean, there's some song that came out the other day. It was, it was a lot more fast paced movement. It was supposed to be some type of romantic song. Like, yeah, the new R&B sensation. <laughs> and the song played, it was just like, I'm like, okay. Then the words was like, get rid of the pussy on the first date. Second date, bitch, too late. So I majored in psychology for all my psychology makes I'm out here doing a field test. I put the I put the song on a CD of the CD in my CD player. No, I don't gotta ask for it, fuck you. So I'm like, alright, let me go. And I drive around, I'm gonna test this song. And on the corner I see a pot pot. And I'm well, okay. Y'all don't so a pot like POT, like a pack of thoughts, that's a like a group of people. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was like at home, but it's like a bunch of old. So next time, yeah, that's the code word. Like, I got a pop out over there, nigga. Oh shit, that means come with me, these two me hoes. I need some testosterone. Real shit. So there's a pop out in the corner. And I'm like, alright, I'm gonna turn this song up, right? And the song goes just like that. Give it a pussy on the first date. Second date, bitch, too late. Give it a pussy. to disrespect me because I just played some shit that disrespected you. But the same bitch is like, can't see his ray. Hey, I'm like, you're not supposed to tell me to catch a ray, bitch. That's consensual. But I guess in the end, times do change, so we have to adjust. Um, my pops is an older guy. He grew up in a time where I guess times was all, uh, hard to grow up black. But I'm a time to, I swear to God, I think it's harder being black now than it was. The only thing you have to deal with is dogs, dog, racist, white cop, whatever. We got some shit now that's deeper than all that shit. We got Wolf Brothers. Fuck. <laughs> you conscious motherfuckers know everything about anything, about everything, about anything. You can't be black enough around no conscious dude. Everything you do is a fucking sellout move. I'm walking out the store. I'm on my merry way, whatever. I just got pushed steps. I got a happy smile on my face. And there's this white dude behind me, struggling with his bags. Oh my gosh, shit. Let me hold the door for him. I ain't thinking nothing of it. I'm like, come on through, old man. I don't know where this woke brother come out there. Oh, ain't that nice? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Yeah, you hold the door open for your mouth. <laughs> you fucking sellout. <laughs> and I'm one of the people that I wear my, what I'm gonna say on my face. You know what I'm saying? Like on my face, my face was like, you got me fucked up. <laughs> I can still care for black issues and do shit for other races. Are you fucking crazy? Like the moment we kill all that shit and realize all our food is being tampered with, everything's being fucked up. It's all about green, fuck black, fuck white. We need to get over that shit, then we'll move along better as a race. That's what my face said. <laughs> what I said was, well, I ain't already say shit, I just slapped groceries out the white man. Shit, the sun had on his face. I was like, hey, those, hey, hey, ain't no sellout over here, bro, stay woke. Cause I, cause like, I, ain't, I ain't made it yet. Like, I ain't that, I ain't that Steve Harvey love you. I can't be getting called no coon yet. 
I still need nigga fans, at least for the next two years after that. <laughs> but right now, I can't afford no coon tag, fuck that. <laughs> but, like, on some real shit, like, we gotta get rid of this shit, man, because it's, it's some interracial couples out here, like, and that's some beautiful shit. If you can fool somebody into liking you despite all the shit you done done, then fool they ass, fuck they color. My brother is a, man, my brother in the back corner is in love with that white woman. Swear to God. They've they been together for, and they work. Fuck, I see them try with black women. It just didn't work, fuck it. But don't, to me, to me, don't purposely, he ain't do this, but it's a lot of black men out here that purposely dodge black women for the stupidest reasons. You know what I'm saying? Like, they too fucking crazy. Nigga, all women are fucking crazy. Have you, like, I, I don't give a fuck what species of female. Have you not seen Animal Planet? Anything attached to a pussy is nuts. What the fuck do you do? Like, you know what I'm saying? You need, like, I think, I think what it is is we need to get used to other types of crazy. Because, I ain't gonna lie. When I get married, all three of my wives, they gonna be black. <laughs> Wait a minute, Joe. But uh, all three of my wives, they gonna be black. Only because I'm accustomed to black crazy. Here's what black people do. Here's what black women do when you argue. When you argue with black women, all they do, for real, for real, is tell you shit y'all already both know. They just say it with a mean tongue. That's it. You already know the shit they telling you. That's why you live with your mama. Yeah. You better on the first date, of course. Yo, dick, let him! You've already established this. Sent you a picture, you said, with a rest. This ain't no rest, bitch. You go, when you hit it, I don't even feel nothing. Because I lose my mind. You gotta fuck silently. Shit, you already know, right? We all don't know this. White women? You motherfuckers say shit we ain't have no business ever knowing, ever, in the middle of arguments. We be arguing about anything and you bring up some shit that ain't got nothing to do with it. We be arguing about a toaster. Whatever Jordan is while I'm fucking your brother! <laughs> <laughs> what? And then they go into that deep detail. That's right. When I was late picking you up from work, he was on time with that cock. <laughs> Y'all be wondering why them white women get Homer Simpson strangled on the news like y'all giving us shit we don't need, man. Dating. <laughs> dating, dating is hard regardless, though. So I don't give a fuck what they say. Dating is hard, dude. I get, I don't know. I have to really sit down and think about my life. I'm about to be 30 next year, man. I'm at that age you start reflecting on everything. And I'm like, fuck, man. I got kids out of wedlock. I done lived with a few girls. Girls ain't got a way with money on me. Like, is it me? No, it's down. Fuck that. <laughs> it's like, I'm perfect. Fuck this shit. It's all down, bro. Because I have some aces that just put me through some shit, man. One girl, she put too much fucking pressure on me. And this is real shit. Like, regardless of what race, like, I gotta stop. It's already hard enough being a man. Like, this, this shit here comes with some fucking expectations. Y'all put too much pressure on us. My girl, my ex woke up and leaned over to me, looked me in my eyes and said the most pressurous shit. She was like, huh. I'm like, what's, what's wrong with you? She was like, I just feel so safe around you. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I just feel like, as long as I'm around you, no one on this earth on me. <laughs> Bitch, I know three niggas on this street that'll beat your head. And I can't do shit about it. Why do you gonna make you speak to them niggas every morning? You better speak back, bitch. You compliment your ass. You better say something. <laughs> and I'm not trying to bring up the narrative like, oh, that nigga a punk. Like, fuck that. Those that know, I got hands. Me and my boy didn't have fights on the landing together. You know, we like one to five, but we be, we be fighting. <laughs> it's just that I, I only fight when it's worth it and when it makes sense. Like, I, I, I just put it like this. Like, I'll fight any nigga in here over someone I care about. 
Why do you do that? Not so much. All because you never know like, who this white person is. This nigga might end up processing a loan I need. This nigga might get in charge of the job I need because y'all niggas ain't buying no tickets. I'm like, I get a job. Oh, I remember you. And plus, white people don't even remember, white people don't even realize that they lose in a fight. The one fight that I had with a motherfucker, I got two pieces. Boop, boop. This motherfucker, ugh. Like, what the fuck? You can never hurt me more than my father. Like, you got some fucking issues. <laughs> and I'm such a caring person. I'm like, what's your father do? Like, you know what <laughs> Got nasty. <laughs> it, uh, just dating is just, like I said, dating is just impossible for me. Um, I had a woman that was too fucking independent. Here's the thing. I'm, 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 I'm going to say this. Any woman in here, and I, be real with me, like, for real. Any woman in here that feel like they don't need a man for shit make some noise. Cool. Give her a free drink of some uh, rat poison, please. <laughs> we don't fucking look. It's like this. We don't get. We don't really want you to need us. Just let us be men. Let us do us for you. It ain't the fact you need us. Let us do shit for you. Maybe won't let me do shit for her. She was too independent. I don't need to open up my door. I'm not do it myself. I don't need to pump my gas. I do it myself. I don't need you to wipe my ass when I take a shit. I'm like, I'm trying to be a sis. I'm trying to help. <laughs> now, and even then, I still dealt with it. Because, you know, when girls are sexy, we deal with dumb shit. But, it got a little too weird in the bedroom. There's no reason for you to be that independent that you get mad that I'm finna give you an orgasm. This girl is, oh, 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 get off me. What the fuck? I'm gonna come. <laughs> Why are you upset? Because I don't need you. I do it myself. <laughs> well, you said your favorite position is from the back, so how are you going to do that to yourself? And I had to sit here and watch this girl hit herself from the back. I said, you are one independent ass motherfucker. Like I didn't know what to do, so I, I came here. Fuck it, that's why I'm late. I was trying to get some money. For sure. I texted her right before I got on stage, supposedly we still fucking, so I must be doing a good job. Fucking <laughs> telling jokes at the same time. Um, another ex is too fucking supportive, man. Too fucking, uh, and a lot of y'all women ain't even supportive enough to know what that means. Sometimes, y'all can be so supportive, that shit is dangerous. I had a chick that loved me, and anyone else that she felt in, it was murder. I had the best friend I've been knowing my whole life. Now granted, she ain't coming to not one comedy show, but it was cool, I understand, shit come up. My girl, nah, fuck that. That bitch needs to come tonight. So the show I had, I said, babe, it's cool, we ain't even to worry about it. She calls the girl. So you coming to my man's show tonight or what? Girl says, uh, I wish I could, but work, can't do it, sorry. Bitch, you need to find out what your place gonna be in my man life. <laughs> because it's bad enough I let him have female friends. You not gonna support? Matter of fact, matter of fact, we on the way right now. We finna beat your ways. Cause we fight together. I'm like, nah, you, you go ahead and handle that yourself. I'm good. I ain't nothing to fight no woman. Oh, so you love her now? I come to every show. She don't come to shit. You're not gonna help me jump this bitch? We're not gonna jump this bitch? I'm like, I'm not trying to jump my mama. <laughs> not on Mother's Day, let her live. <laughs> they just is hard, man. That's why, for real, and I'll be honest with you, man, we family. You know, a lot of people here know me personally. And fuck it, like, I'm transparent. I just stick to porn, fuck that. Um, it's there. Does it go anywhere? Does it ask me where I'm going when I turn it off? It doesn't say where you've been when I come back. It's right there. Watching that shit since I was eight. Pops, she left the shit out. It was there. I was like, fuck it. And I just been studying that shit. Like, okay. Fuck it. Only thing that fucked me up is I had to, you have to, sometimes you gotta mentally check yourself. I realized I was getting too emotionally attached to the bitches I was jacking up to. I was, I was starting to care about them. Like, if you leave it up to me, I'll tell you, check me in. Three styles been dating for about two and a half years. 
Oh, yeah, I love him. I know we're going to be sorry. Yeah. I'll find the only person in here. She got two Japanese tattoos on her ass. I'm the only person in here that knows the left cheek stands for love and the right cheek stands for fortune. So when you put that together, love and fortune. She's so majestic with her shit. She's so artistic, bro. But I realized I was getting too much of the tattoo because she's from Atlanta. I found myself in Atlanta just for a weekend, you know, do some dope ass I'm the shit stuff. And she's walking down the sidewalk. Now, you know, when you're in a relationship with somebody and you ain't seen them in the house or whatever, you get excited. I saw, I was like, hey! Baby! Swear out of my life, walk up to a game with a hug, kiss on the chin, where you been? Where you, where you going? Let's go get something to eat. And she's, she's like, she's like, she's like, she's like do I know you? Bitch, hell yeah, you know me. You know how many hours we spent together? You know how many kids I sacrificed? No. So it's them, it's not me. It's, it can't be trusted. But even then, I was like, man, I'm not going to calm down. Man, that was just, you know, I'll find me another girl. Fuck that. I realized I probably need to start watching porn when. And I'm sorry though, all the those are the maternity of masturbation. I, I got caught jacking up, man. Fuck. Bitch. I'm sorry, yeah, don't kick me out the out the group. Um But I get I didn't get caught by nobody like like your mother, father, sister, daughter, cousin, nothing like that. This okay. This nigga broke up my house while so I was jacking off. And I was like, what the and there's nothing you can say. How do you chase somebody to the house of your dick in your hand? I'm wrong with this nigga, you know? <laughs> they call this nigga, you mean, like, hey, you gotta lock your door, you need to leave by yourself, you better not be expecting your ass all the time. <laughs> what? Thanks, you wanna get me out? The long ass, my pops ain't ready, don't quit, nigga, I finished. Like, you, you, you know how fucked up your day is when you start jacking off and you don't finish? This nigga's laughing too, and I didn't get it. Nigga, you know, your whole day, man. Fuck! Fuck! But even then, you still didn't give it up. I'm like, oh! So when he get out, I'm like, man, I'm gonna finish this shit. So I'm taking one of my favorite scenes for preach dance, trying to get paid cheerleader. Fucking the white dude with this fucking locker shit. I don't, I just fast forward to the, you know, stuff. So, um, but I'm watching this shit. And I know where fucking the folk brother comes up on the screen. Oh, ain't this nice? <laughs> I'm like, no, brother, what is you doing? I see you on here watching these white dudes fuck our queens. <laughs> what? Yeah. You ain't fucking, you ain't watching no black on black porn. I'm like, but that shit is depressing. Ain't gonna watch them. Yeah, it's bigger than my TV. Like, I, like, I started getting mad. Like, she was getting fucked. And she was like, ah! Like, that was like pain. 911, that's what people call. Right there, that's my baby. So, but, but I don't want too many people to judge me. I don't know everybody. Fuck that. Like, everybody, let me y'all funny. I'll say porn. Nigga, everybody and every single person in here, when it comes to porn, knows how to spell it. And if you know how to spell porn, you're a freak. You're nasty. God fear people don't know how to spell porn. Uh, but in the end, like, <laughs> hallelujah. Ain't nobody in here thank Jesus. Um, but in the end, like, I tried, I tried being single and just, I'm finna be a player and have sex with a bunch of bitches cause I'm finna be famous. But it's 2017, man, you women are fucking disrespectful. Like, when it comes to sex, I don't know what, you're just started, but y'all just starting to get real honest during sex, and we don't need that shit. All right, when I ask you questions, this is not a pop quiz. Just say what you know I want to hear. You get what I'm saying? I right, say this gay, I'm like, yeah, so uh, huh, huh, huh. this shit feel good, don't it? This shit nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it's cool. <laughs> cool should never be used in the pit. I'm like, alright, it's cool. 0 for 1. I ain't tripping. 0 for 1. Fuck it. I'm like, well, uh, <laughs> this shit the best. Hey, simple last question. This shit number one. Hey. Man, you know, it's like top 30. Top 30. 
honest, like stop that. And, and a lot of women, to be honest, y'all, y'all too fucking freaky. I don't even know what y'all expect. Like, you ever try to show something new to your gay? Like, I'm gonna expose her to some real shit. Would it be old to her? <laughs> you like, man, I'm gonna show her. Like, I got like this little man, like a little suitcase, briefcase thing. So I was like, for real, I was like, I would carry a suitcase when I know I was gonna get some. And they all kind of toys and stuff in. So one day I was like, yeah, girl, I got this deal, though. And the way this works is, and before I could go over, like, how to use it, the proper instructions, she grabbed it out of my hand and stuck over her ass. I was like, what other three? And I was like, what the fuck? What other three? <laughs> And a lot of y'all, for real, stay in your freak lane. We're gonna get real wrong tonight. Stay in your, if, if you don't talk shit during sex, that's fine. Don't try. Don't, don't, don't even try. It's too late. We all too old for shit. You can't learn about that fuck. Cause, man, I swear to God, I did this chick, and this is some real shit. She was like, I want to be more like you in the bedroom. I know I'm holding us back. I want to be a freak. I said, okay, so what you want to do? I want to talk dirty during sex. I'm like, alright, cool, you can leave. Go ahead. So she's like, okay, okay. Huh, huh, huh. Ooh, father. Father. Oh my god, father. <laughs> Who the fuck are you talking to? <laughs> it, it is what girls do. They call it. No, they call him daddy. Daddy. Oh, well, my daddy already makes him. My, my, my daddy already makes me call him daddy during sex. I'm like, what would you say? Oh. But you know, my dick on hard already. I gotta finish. So I was like, whatever. I'm like, tell me something else. I'm not gonna not finish. Fuck you. Huh? I'm like, no, 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 just, 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 we'll talk about that later. This, tell me, tell me something else. What do you want to say? Oh, oh, oh. Tell me how big it is. Yeah, I need my confidence boosted. I just got fired. Tell me how big it is. Tell me how big it is. And she was like, oh, uh, it's almost as big as my uncle's. So I, I just I just stopped. I ain't gonna lie. Like I finished, but I stopped. Like I stopped, and I just dropped off the third. Cause like you got some fucking issues you gotta work out dealing with your daddy and his brother. Cause that's some bullshit. And I I kind of use this stage as I try and teach people about shit. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of sex, and this is real shit. I ain't trying to change the narrative, but we have to start using condoms, please. I ain't talking about no, like, this shit, man. Because, okay, I'll be real. A lot of y'all went to high school with me, I already know this shit. But a lot of y'all did, so. Back in high school, I was, you know, like Mike said, uh, super average at ball, and I was super popular, and I was just willy-nilly just slanging it everywhere, and I, I'm not gonna lie, I got caught up with a fucking disease. And this shit just can't get rid of. And that shit fucked my life up. Like, I was like, are you fuck six, 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 17 years old being struck down with a bullet like that? Like, the doctor didn't have no, like, compassion with it or nothing. He was just like, yes, I'm sorry, but, uh, you got KID. And I was like, fuck! I got a fucking key? <laughs> you sure? That shit fucked me up. Ain't no key for that shit, man. My ignorant ass kept going and that shit developed into KIDS. I'm like, fuck! What is the, what's, what am I doing wrong? But I'm the real man. I am a father first before anything. I got three kids. I love my kids. I got two daughters, a little baby boy. Now both of my daughters are by the same chick. And I never realized like how two people that crawled out the same cave can be so fucking different. My oldest, I swear to God, this is real shit. Y'all might have seen on them. She was in the news here before she moved. This girl's probably gonna be down with high school by the time she's 15. She's smart as fuck. It's scary how much she loves to learn. I be having to check her ass. Like every now and then I'll just punch her just to be like, hey, I'm, I'm the dominant one. <laughs> She gonna finish high school when she's ready. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, at some point, we're gonna be like, yay, I might be old by the end, but fuck it. It's gonna happen, because we're gonna get her there. 
I'm just saying, you know, I, I, I'm real about my kids. You know your kids love you tell them to spell her name, she's like counting on her fingers. Like, what the fuck? A, B, C, is that right? <laughs> but, you know, but in the end, regardless how smart or not smart your kids are, you have to make sure that you as an adult teach your kids shit independent outside of what these teachers are teaching them. Because these teachers don't give a fuck. They passing all that. Hey, whatever, dummy, go ahead, get out of my face. <laughs> So I, I do the right thing, at least I try to, right? I taught my oldest daughter how to join on fat kids. Like, you need that. You need that. Not, not because fat kids are the easiest target ever. Because they so fucking mean, like, oh my God. And I ain't talking about like the little cutesy fat kids. They're like, oh, look at the little cheeks, oh my God. Look at the little fat legs. No. I'm talking about like them big hoods. Jeez, that make you like jump when they come up behind you like, hello sir. God damn, nigga, I ain't got no, I ain't got no money. Oh, you 10. Okay, that's a mistake. And basically what happened was, fat girl caught herself joining on my, on my oldest daughter. She comes home crying. Daddy, the man's speaking on me. Now all of us parents got our own speech prepared for shit like this. My speech goes a little something like this. All right, baby, whatever the hell she told you. Clearly she's jealous of you. You're fucking beautiful. You're intelligent. You're tall. You're ugly. You got a future. You're my daughter. She, she's probably jealous of you. Matter of fact, do me a favor. Tell me what she said about you. And I promise you, it is some BS. Tell me. Go ahead. Entertain me with this nonsense. She looks at me. She says, She said my head was hella big. I was like, damn, we dealing with a pro. Fuck, I should have. You ain't saying shit, babe? Like, so now I'm like, fuck it. Now I gotta pull up my hands and do the daddy thing, and we gotta do what? I gotta go up to the fucking school. And I know a lot of us, we talk shit about kids. Like, we ain't got no respect. And for the most part, you're right. But when a dad comes to the school, everybody fucking stops. Because they ain't never seen one of these motherfuckers before. <laughs> They not sure if I'm your daddy or not. Like that nigga might be over for me. Let me <laughs> chill. Shit. But of course I go out to the recess. I go out to the recess, y'all, and I'm like, alright, 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 alright. Right, right, right. Which one of them is it? And I see it. Big as a motherfucker. I'm like, God damn. So I walk up to him like, hey, uh, you got some words to say about my daughter? She so looked at me, swear to God. Oh. I know you ain't talking to me with them shoes on your head. I'm like, you future diabetic bitch, you know what I can't do. <laughs> I ain't gotta drink something up here. So I'm like, hey, I'm like, fuck that. My daughter finna get at this girl. I said, hey, get her. Now my daughter is so kind hearted, so fucking sweet. She's looking at me like, I can't. I said, why? Because of Michelle Obama. <laughs> Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama says, when they ain't low, we ain't high. And that's what, like, I ain't gonna stop. I love Michelle Obama for all that shit. She great, positive. Influence on all our kids. So with that, I got down on one knee and my daughter said, "All right, babe. Fuck Michelle Obama. She not the first lady no more. I'm pretty sure our current first lady would say some shit like, fuck this fat ass kid. Flame her ass.' And she was like, I can't do it. So now the kids start to goof up like, ooh, what's gonna happen? I'm like, all right, I gotta do something. All right, fuck it. I'm your dog. I said, babe, do me a favor. Tell me what you like about her. Huh? Yeah. Since you're so kind, tell me what you like about her, and I'll translate what you just said. She was like, well, I do love that flower shirt you wear. Uh, you wear it pretty much every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I love that shirt. I was like, oh, she said this bitch dusty. She has no clothes. Oh, bitch, the same shirt. Three out of five days. All the kids. Oh, Nisi, go. 
get her again. And she's like, well, if I sit close enough to you, I do like the fact that you smell like my favorite breakfast. I was like, oh! She said, this bitch stink. You smell like pancake syrup. Bitch! All the kids is like, ah! They get more hype phones and start to come out. You know, when phones come out, it's getting real. Oh my like, God, all right, kid. Hey, 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 one more time. Give it a knockout punch. She's like, well, I'm jealous of your hair. And everyone was like, why, Nisi, why? She said, well, it's not long enough to be put into a ponytail. And my dad fucks my ponytail up every day. I said, she said, this bitch bald head. <laughs> bald head, bitch. Bald head, bitch. And I swear to God, the whole week says, like, bald head, bitch. Bald head, bitch. They was taking our cell phone. We was Snapchatting it up. We was hashtagging it. It was an amazing father-daughter moment. I got I got banned from the school. I can't go to parent-teacher conferences unless I'm on Skype. Fuck it. Because in the end, man, we gotta have our kids back. And I learned I ain't gonna lie. I, my my parenting skills are a little off. Like they are a little like outside the box. Only what the fuck y'all talking? <laughs> only because, only because my father, like, I learned everything I had to learn about being a parent from my father. Basically, I just looked at everything he's ever done for me and everything he's ever done, period. And I was like, as long as I do the exact opposite of what this motherfucker's doing, I'm going to be all right. I fuck with him, though. You get what I'm saying? Like, he taught me a lot of shit. Like, my father, okay, clearly I must be some type of working karma, because my dad was the shit in high school. I wasn't shit in high school. I think I was going like, yeah, nigga, it's cool. I got something for you. And my dad would try to overcompensate for that and try to make me seem like I'm cool to my friends, but he would fuck me up at the same time. We, like, early teens, um, 13, 14 years old, me and other. Probably you know, packing my partners in the fucking living room talking shit about sex. Now, I don't know shit about sex except for what Capri Styles does on camera. And I'm like, I, right, you know, but all my boys are supposedly not virgins no more. And they talking all this deep shit about vagina. And I'm like, what the fuck are they talking about? My boy telling, yeah, 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 yeah. I do have it fit. You know what I'm saying? I love, I love when they making all these noises and they be like, oh, I can't control myself. Man, I'm 14. So I'm like, oh, man, damn. Another dude, man, I love, for real, but I love that candy from the back, man. Everything just be moving everywhere. I'm like, man, this shit crazy. And she don't even look back and see me act back there dancing and shit. I'm like, damn. <laughs> then it got to me, it's my turn. Yeah, Chris, what you like about fucking? I don't know nothing about fucking. But I, I gotta fake it. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, uh, I, I, I like when they nipples get all hard and, and you gotta wear goggles so they don't poke your eye out and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because they, be, they, they nipples be so hard. Niggas just like, what? Goggles? Yeah, I got, you, ain't, you ain't got no sex goggles. You ain't got, you ain't got and they was like, boy, you ain't never had your shit. You probably did a virgin. My dad come to find out he's eavesdropping his whole fucking time. Make sure we ain't talking about selling crack or nothing like that. This nigga bust in trying to save me. She. My son don't need no motherfucking pussy, nigga. What? Yeah. The way he be jacking all nigga, nigga. Can't no bitch handle that screw. Be fucking the shit out of his fist. Like, daddy, stop. I don't need you. But he did teach me a lot, though. Real shit, like, I grew up in Castle Point, and at the time, there was a lot of fucking games. And there was a lot of pressure to join these games. Now me, I grew up with everything you could ever want. I had both sets of grandparents, mother, father, all that wonderful shit. Didn't have a dog, but whatever. Um, but one day, the game, the bloods walked up to me. Hey, 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 blood, hey. Trying to be a blood? And I thought about it, I'm like, shit, I love red. I was like, what's, what's the perks? Like, what, what happens? You get a family. I said, nigga, I'm gonna have two families in this bitch? I don't be shitting on 
niggas. I'm like, yeah, I'm down. <laughs> Gave me rags and shit, told me to come to initiation that night. I'm gonna go home and tell my dad the good news. I'm like, shit, I'm, I just bossed up, nigga. I got two families, I got y'all and some other people. I'm walking down the street, yay, the new blood rag on my head, yay. This nigga sees me, he walks up to me, don't say shit. He just slaps the fuck out of me. I'm like, ugh, blood rag fell off. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, son, let me tell you something. I work 50 hours a week. Your mother works 45 hours a week. We don't get no sleep. We put you in the best situation we possibly can. We keep clothes on your back, all this other shit, and you want to do this shit? You, you, you trying to get blood? Is, it, is this really how you would pay the hard work that we do? And it dawned on me. Oh, duh, nigga. Gangs is bad. My bad, bro. Didn't fucking know. Sorry. So I'm like, Father, I apologize. This nigga was like, no, nigga, we crit, nigga. The fuck, if anything, you wear this shit. I hate blue bread. Walking and crying, I'm just like, oh, dude. Christmas is 99, unfortunately. But he taught me a lot of shit, man. He taught me a lot of shit. The one, one thing, though, he taught me how to be loyal to those that are loyal to you. And I have a lot of good friends. I got a lot of great friends. A lot of them made this night possible. So I appreciate all that shit. Uh, I don't know you, but. <laughs> You know, don't beat my ass like that. Oh, uh, so. Uh, but, you know, I, I just, I, the only thing is, like, I was nervous about this week because I lost a fucking friend. And I ain't never, I ain't never lost someone this close to me. Like, I know she's on a dangerous beat. I mean, not taking away nobody. I know a lot of people lost a lot of people worse than a friend. But I ain't never think this shit, yeah, you feel like you invincible. Like, yeah, you know, that shit is new, that shit ain't happening in my life. And I didn't think that I was going to have the mentality to come up here and be funny in the midst of me dealing with that shit. Um, so I just, real shit, like I ain't trying to, okay, if we can just be like quiet for like three seconds, I'm going to start doing this shit. I'm going to start taking like a three second time out and just be silent for like three seconds while we honor my man right here, so. I appreciate that, for real. Um, he not dead or nothing like that. I don't need y'all to be out here. He just, he just annoying him like this nigga. Like, he meant to send, he meant, he meant to send a picture of his dick to his gal and he has to send it to me. And I was like, what the fuck? We are no longer friends. I'd be dead if I'd be friends with a nigga dick bigger than mine. You feel what I'm saying? Fuck you. Nigga, I got the biggest dick out of all my friends. This has been confirmed because I sent it all to their girls and I'd be like, if it's bigger, respond. What the fuck is this? Thank you. If somebody brought you out here on a date, if somebody brought you out here on a date and you ain't gave it up yet, do that shit, please. Like, this shit is amazing. Okay, they trying. Get them out the friend zone. The friend zone should be fucking illegal. All right? Pops off how to get out of friend zone, though. Real shit. Like, I found this girl. I think she gone. I was going on blast. Ooh, she's like, she left. She just left. She knew the joke was coming. So, um, either way, I, 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 was, I was friends with this girl for six years now. I've been trying to fuck for eight. But we've been friends for six. And I've been trying everything I can possibly do to get out the friend zone. And it just didn't fucking work. But then I thought about what my dad told me. She sent a picture of that package. I know friendly about that. You fucking right. Sent it a pic. Yeah. You know we. All right, that's the little known thing. Like when we send dick pics, we make a sound effect when we first say it. We were like, eh, bitch. Believe it or not, like, yeah, dude. Eat that. Lick your screen. You not, and I swear. Oh, shit. Everybody's out.
down the back end. Yeah, I'm sorry. But with it, I sent a caption. I was like, nah, teachers, what you trying to do? He's like, what the fuck is this? I see this, nah, teachers, what you trying to do? And she was like, man, I'm on the way right now. I'm like, what the fuck? Yo, right now? She was like, yeah. How do I know you had nine inches? I been put you out the friend zone. I'm like, damn. <laughs> Shit, I, 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 but I started, I, I ain't gonna lie, I started getting nervous as fuck. Like, like, don't worry, I was happy that I was finally out the friend zone, but I was nervous because, like, that wasn't my dick. Like, I sent another, my friend picture he sent, I forwarded that shit to her, like, bitch, yeah. That shit was too big to waste. So I get some ass with this shit. Yeah. I'm probably the only nigga here to try to get some ass using another man dick. Like, I was like, yeah. Ugh. Take that forward. So now I'm at home trying to figure out how to make my dick grow four inches in 20 minutes. That wasn't a joke. That was like a cry for help. Any techniques? That was a cry for help. Oh my God. Women tend to not fuck with you when you are broke. Yeah, like I want a baller. Fuck you. Um, I hate my relationship with money because we never seem to get along. Um, but I ain't a lot. Being broke does something to your uh, priorities. You prioritize a lot better when you ain't really got shit. You know what I mean? Like the type of women you even date. When you got money, you date bitch. You ain't got no business dating. I found myself being broke, but I was on a date with someone I had no business dating. Like, she had everything. She had a whole fucking high school diploma, and her neighborhood had a sidewalk in it. And she only had two baby daddies. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? I'm over my head. And when we went to the restaurant, she says, uh, I'm just letting you know, before I even order my food, I don't fuck on the first date. And that shit was cool to me. I just was thinking like, your name is Kajanika. Like, <laughs> what bitch named Kajanika? Don't fuck on the first, we should have fucked before the date, uh, whatever. But I'm real kind of laid back, it didn't matter to me. And I let her know that. I said, well, what the hell makes you think that something you had to say? Well, because. You know, y'all men, y'all only base how much you finna spend based on if you think you finna get some. So you not finna get none. Okay, so with that being said, what can't I order? And I'm a real fucking man. Like, I was raised better than that. Like, are you crazy? And I just look at like, no, are you tripping? Like, you want a date with a real... It, it didn't matter if I was gonna hit or not. I was gonna still order what the same thing. You good. So I called the witch, I was like, I approve it, come here. And I ordered me my favorite shit. Ribs, mashed potatoes, fried, strawberry, lemonade, extra grenade. Bow, wow. And I ordered her some fucking napkins. Like, here you go, bitch. <laughs> All right, extra thick. Use these. I'm not fucking playing. I just hate, I, I really do hate my relationship with money. Like, I think it's mainly because there's so many things in this in this country set up to make it seem like you ain't shit when it comes to you being broke. Like, the simplest shit, like calling to check your balance. That nigga is so fucking racist and so blunt, he don't give a fuck. He will tell you your low ass balance with no warning. And I'm trying to check my balance. Two dollars, sit your ass down. Beep. Hello? Like, nigga, give me some full warning. Like, talk, like, so soothe me into this low ass balance. Like, I, for once, I would love to call and be like, yeah, man, I'm trying to check my balance. Oh, okay. Um, are you sitting down? <laughs> no, you might want to sit down. Where are you? I'm on a date. Mm. <laughs> are you trying to pay? Yeah. Mm. You might want to order this bitch some napkins. <laughs> you only got two dollars. Okay, thank you. Do some shit like that. Or like, you know, butter me up. Make me feel like I got a chance to not be broke again. It would be perfect if I had like, I don't know, if I called my balance in, I don't know, fucking 
Maya Angelou was on the other end. Wouldn't that be amazing? An amazing historically black poet. Though your bank account is low in size. <laughs> Keep clocking in for the black man. And soon, you will rise. Like, damn, I, I like that. I, I go to work right now. Fuck that. Talk me out of that shit. I hate, I hate being broke. But my father taught me how to play broke. Like, yeah, nigga, just, just act like you broke and you really got some money. I just played it too good. You get what I'm saying? Like, I actually don't got any money. And a lot of people let that broke shit get to them to where they kill themselves. I'm not gonna lie, man. Suicide is a real fucking thing. Like, a lot of y'all be on Facebook, yeah, kill yourself. Motherfuckers is listening to me, y'all. Like, kill myself? All right, yeah. And last summer, I got to see that shit first hand. That shit was so scary. That shit was so crazy. Like, I'm not lying. I'm walking downtown on the landing. Now, those of you that know the landing, downtown St. Louis, there's that fucking highway bridge. Right over by the little Mier, right? I'm walking out of my own business, and I swear to God, it's a white woman standing on top of this bridge. And I'm just like, oh, look at that white girl. What's she doing? And I hear a, a white man. No! Stop! What the fuck going on up here? She's like, leave me alone! I'm fucking your brother! Like, what the fuck? It's not the right time to say I'm like, I know this bitch ain't finna, you know how we play, this bitch ain't finna do this shit. And I swear to God, she puts one leg over this bridge and everything in my body just take, like, I, it's, it's like God just took over my body and was like, nigga, go save her. And I'm not lying, I've been playing football there my whole life, I done tried out for professional teams. And I ain't never ran this fast ever in my life. I'm run. I feel like I'm floating. I feel like someone was pushing me behind me, like, go save this woman. She puts her other leg over the fucking bridge. I'm like, if this bitch jump, I'm gonna have to catch her. Holy shit. And I get right under her right before she jump. I'm like, I know she ain't gonna do this. And she literally, this is no bullshit, jumps off the fucking bridge. And I'm like, okay, okay. I'm ready. And in my mind, I start thinking about the future. Like, I'm like, man, I'm gonna be on the news, nigga. <laughs> oh my God, and I'm a comedian, this shit. I'm gonna blow up, nigga. I'm just thinking about the headlines. Funny black man saves depressed white woman. Racism is over. Nigga, white woman has a black guardian angel. I'm just picturing all that shit, and I'm under her, like I'm ready, I'm ready. And I swear to God, the worst shit happened. This fucking woke brother came out and said, oh, ain't that nice? <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is you doing here, woke brother? He's like, oh, I see you been to say that white bitch. I don't see you out here saving black queen. to a kid like it didn't it didn't make sense but it made sense I'm, I'm a kid and it didn't matter what the fuck I tried to do he was like you my son so you gonna be good at it 
And my whole life I played football, and I thought for the longest that that was our only bond. Like, I was like, I, I gotta keep playing, because I want this nigga to love me. And, um, <laughs> and uh, shit just kept happening. I had concussion after concussion after concussion. And I kept coming back, and it wasn't, it, I love football, but I love this nigga so much that I was like, I don't, if I die on this motherfucker, like, that's worth it. And, I, and when I, when I, um, when I, uh, I'm not fucked up. Uh, <laughs> and this dude heard about me doing comedy. And I ain't gonna lie, his brother was like, nigga, when you funny? But he made sure he was at every fucking, he was at everything, man. Like, he didn't get it there. And not, not only did he come to everything, he brought people. New bitches every time. Like, oh! I was like, that's my nigga. I won't tell mine, he's used to be the alibis. We went to the store. <laughs> and I just, I realized like it didn't matter what I did, he was gonna be there. And a lot of people gonna have a lot of shit to say about this dude, man, cause he was a wild motherfucker and he still is. But he can be whatever the fuck y'all want to be, but he was never absent, man. He was always there for me. <laughs> and I, uh, I love you, man. Real shit. Uh, we on camera, man. Um, and I am moving to Phoenix, um, thanks to my brother, man, my manager, my fucking nigga, uh, CJ. Y'all yeah, might see him running around here right now, I don't know where he at. But, um, there he is, wave! <laughs> CJ made, like, when, when people ask me questions about Sean, I don't be knowing shit, like, he take care of everything, because he only want me to worry about coming up for him performing. He put a lot of things together for me, my sister Angela. I'm just saying this because, like, hire, hire your fucking friends, man. Don't just let them hang around and booch off you. Like, give them a title and hold them to the responsibilities of that title. He came to pick me up, and the only thing he, oh, she trying to get me drunk. Uh, he picked me up, and I'm like, how's it going? And he's so busy, he's like, they we ain't make shit. But everybody killing me. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Like, he staying business my, at all fucking times. Thank you, Mike. I, Man, you the shit, bro. Just keep at this shit, dog. Real shit. Coop, you know, you know, we brothers, dog. Like, we've been doing well. I've been knowing Coop since high school. Niggas thought he was his daddy. He's like, I got a daddy. I'm like, cool. Larry, I already told you, you finna be the shit real quick, man. Everybody that y'all seen, Belle, I know she's like, everybody y'all seen is gonna cost hellas by themselves at one point. So the fact that y'all got to see all of them means a lot, man. My cousin George came. He ain't leave his wife this time. I love... My cousin George, bro, like, styles, clothing, all that. I just, when I leave and I move and I do my thing, people are gonna know that the funniest nigga in they city was from here. You get what I'm saying? And they gonna know this man, they gonna know me, and they gonna know y'all. So I appreciate it. Appreciate everybody. For coming. Are we toast? Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta say something, too. Hey, uh. Hey, John, come over here right quick, John. Look, I'm just gonna tell y'all right quick, this dude, we go back to like high school. He was on Mega Squire, I was a Cavalier. Uh, I had way more bitches than this nigga, but he still fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? Because he knew one day I was gonna be here. I gotta thank my nigga Chris for the opportunity, cause I ain't never think I'll be performing here at Maurice Hills. Uh, what the fuck is this? Hold on, time out. Nah, nigga, what the fuck is this? This is Cosby shit. Nah, I ain't fuck with this shit. Hey, who made this? Who made it? I'm drinking. No, fuck, I'm drinking. I'm drinking. That was it, man. What we toasting to? To niggas with jokes? To niggas with jokes, man. We appreciate y'all coming out, man. We toasting up. He ain't got shit in this shit. Hey, shout out to, uh, shout out to Bobby Brown. Slash, uh, what was that nigga? Chicago. He was Chicago in Point of Justice. I don't know if y'all seen that shit. He brushing his fade right now. Shout out to the conscious brother. This was the conscious nigga that uh, Chris was talking about in this, in this thing. Woke nigga, right here. Here you go. Shout out to Jazzy Faye for passing me the mic. <laughs> uh, Chris got some bean pies outside, also. He didn't say that. Shot glasses, t shirts, bean pies. Uh, damn, Larry. 
You did get them from Marshall, son. <laughs> them motherfuckers oh. tight as hell, boy. You got 57 cents in your pocket, I can tell. Who? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. We here. Uh, you can have this motherfucker out far the ass up, boy. Here. After the fact that you just said you fuck dude girls, uh, I don't want you to fry this ass up. As a matter of fact, I don't want you to do nothing to this ass. I just want you to say, good jokes, my nigga. Hee hee ha 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 ha. Everything that got to do with ass is pants. Just, oh, uh, go ahead and pass the ass. I'm, nothing about ass. So I appreciate y'all so much for coming out. Let me do anything that was an ass. I'm fucking around the press shit out of these clothes. Like I said, we know where I got my shit from, but one of us is ashamed to admit where we got an outfit from. I got my outfit from Burlington, nigga. I ain't ashamed to say shit. Your shirt ain't big enough for Burlington, my nigga. Burlington don't sell shit for big and tall. You fat and short than a motherfucker. So no, I, I, I don't disrespect. I'm short. I ain't fat. I'm just saying, just be honest. Let's just be honest. That's not Burlington, nigga. That's definitely because I'm a cheap shopping ass nigga. This is JCPenney's. It's some outlet motherfucking swimming trunk casual shorts. And those Reeboks are some fucking stepping courage because nobody wear them ugly ass shoes. They don't got nothing to do with nothing. This is how you know this nigga don't have no culture because these Cole Hans. But you got on these motherfucking these uh, ass words. up tempo uh, Curry LeBrons and shit. I ain't never seen them motherfuckers. And why is Earth spelled like that? Earth is A I R. Nigga, that shit say A R E. Culture. What the fuck you got on? What was that big ass word you just said? Say that word again. You think that's a, you still got the cold times. What the fuck? Nigga, on CBC start making up words. Nah, man, nigga ain't broke. You just don't got the cold times. So won't you get a dictionary? <laughs> I'm not reading this shit. Hey. Ross cheap than a motherfucker. <laughs> and I went to Nike Outlet for these motherfuckers. These bitches was 50, y'all. <laughs> oh, them motherfuckers came from the motherfucker uh, flea market on 367. You lying like a motherfucker. Outlet my ass, nigga. Yeah, the motherfucker outlet your this... ass right on Parker, nigga. You should. The fuck, nigga. If you don't get your ass, nigga, them motherfuckers came from the circle. You why lying you like a motherfucker, nigga. Why you, you got, back? You got them shoes. Why are you leaning back? Some pink out pickles and all the same time. Why are you leaning time. back? This nigga got this why did I get married shirt on. That nigga won't lean back because he got the part three on and shit. He know how this shit ends. No, why did I get married? You ain't get married and put this fucking shirt up. No, fuck that. Just go step up. All right, fuck it. We done. We done. Niggas with jokes. Wrap it up. Niggas with jokes. Wrap it up. It ain't about us, though. It's about. Who said I got It's about Chris. It's about Lil Chris. Who said I got a little bit of 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 Who